Welcome to Medieval Kingdom Wars. Yes, we are back in this game after a bit of a break over the summer. And the reason I'm making this video is that on the 8th of October 2018, if you're watching this in the future, they released the Alpha 5.9 update. And this update covers the new revamped tutorial. And I thought it's certainly going to be worth making a video on it. In fact, there's going to be several videos and probably the easiest way to explain it. If I come into the tutorial here, you can see I've done the first five parts, so it's so it's a considerably longer than it used to be. And in this video, I'm just going to cover the, the the basic movement tutorial, the basic combat tutorial, and up to the sea battle. And then in the subsequent videos, we will cover the later parts. I am aware that this could be quite a long video and some of you may want to see specific parts of the tutorial so I will be putting some timestamps up now that will take you to the various sections through here and I think what I'm going to start now is we're going to start with one because I might as well show you the whole tutorial and the, the first part is very much a cinematic and I really think it's worth looking at for at least once because it's a pretty awesome cinematic in the year of our law 1336 a peaceful and prosperous Europe was about to be plunged into war. With the blessing of Pope Benedict XII, the great powers of England and France had sworn to join together in a crusade to the Holy Land. They had amassed armies, weapons, and warships, but soon stood with their knives poised at each other's throats. In violation of recent treaties, England had laid claim to vast tracts of land in France, owned long ago by their ruling family, the Plantagenets. King Edward III, who took power in 1330, wanted to make Anjou, Aquitaine, Brittany, Normandy, and Poitou vassals of England again, despite the French people and culture that had flourished there for so long. Meanwhile, Against all odds, a new dynasty had taken power in France, the House of Valois, and they would no longer tolerate English ambitions on the continent. Secretly absolved of his crusader's vow by the Pope in 1336, King Philip VI of France, first of the Valois, renewed France's old alliance with Scotland promising to support the Scots in their war against England. Count Guy de Chatelon was among the many lords who answered Francis' call to defend Scotland. Count Guy was a notorious rogue adventurer, even after his brother-in-law, Philip, unexpectedly became king. Official hostilities between England and France had not yet been declared, however and with no assistance from France, his Scottish adventure turned into a nightmare. When King Edward of England invaded Scotland, ready to incinerate the Scottish town of Aberdeen, the French nobles were trapped. Medieval Kingdom Wars allows you to quit and later resume campaign battles in progress. Let's join such a battle now and see if Count Guy de Chatelon and hold on as the English mount a final assault. So you can see here the the initial part of the tutorial is that very good cinematic and I think it really demonstrates the the map that you'll be playing on. Remember this is a real-time strategy game so things are gonna be very much happening and you can see here this is the combat battle screen it says here this attack window shows the disposition of forces on in the coming siege click on the commanders to see which units they bring to the battle the sword icon shows the overall military strength of each army here king edward is laying siege to aberdeen garrison led by robert de laird del dalray laird dalroy is supported by the french army led by you count guy de chatillon Usually there's an option to either auto-resolve or fight on the battle map, but today, however, we fight on the ground in the blood-soaked alleyways of Aberdeen. F click to fight button. And this is the beginning of a battle, but it, it's worth emphasizing that it begins by teaching the movement uh, controls, which are pretty standard. 
As French and English forces prepared for the war they knew was coming, trouble was brewing. The Scottish Second War of Independence had been raging since 1332, and a peace treaty between England and Scotland was imminent. Until in 1336, the French sent forces to support their Scottish allies. Outraged, King Edward himself crossed into Scotland via Newcastle and laid siege to Aberdeen. He proclaimed that once the city fell, he would burn Aberdeen to the ground. The town was on the verge of defeat, with only a few remaining Scots and Frenchmen defending the last keep. It was no longer about victory, but a chance to repel yet another assault and flee the doomed city while the English regrouped. As the English prepared to storm the last keep of Aberdeen, French and Scottish defenders made their battle lines, and the English unleashed a devastating trebuchet bombardment. One of the French nobles leading the counterattack was struck and knocked unconscious. His marshal ran towards him to help. The French were within a hair's breadth of being defeated. My lord! My lord! Saints in hell, you were struck by a trebuchet boulder. You're conscious now, can you see me? Ha! Ah, don't recognize me, eh? Now, I don't think it makes any difference what you actually click on here. I says, no, who the devil are you? Where are you, man? What? God's death! To have this happen in the middle of a siege! Things are already a bloody mess. How's your neck, my lord? Try looking around. You don't have to wait for the whole uh, conversation to go there. You can see this is just literally gives you the movement keys. So this is there. Uh, and to move on, you just close the tutorial window. Use the scroll window to move in and out. Uh, Q and E, rotate. These are pretty standard controls. And, uh, and just clicking out moves you forward. Now, your lordship, try to remember. Take a look at the locations I have marked on your map. Uh, you quite can use like the, the mini theme, map yeah. in the right bottom corner to quickly jump to these locations. Also, above the mini map, you'll see your objectives. In this case, so you can see it's the to objectives scout here these locations. And the mini map there, which is there. Um, what, what you need to be doing is just moving in here. Our brave lads here are skirmishing with the English. You were leading them as that trebuchet knocked you down. <laughs> Got hit by your own trebuchet. The mighty port of Aberdeen is ablaze, my lord. I must admit, I do Sadly, really like the city the maps in this game. Yeah, they're really awesome. Arms. Got a sunken ship here. Not sure why that one. We obviously do All get that remains the of the ships in the harbor, an absolute slaughter. Damn these English! <laughs> Just gonna come into here. This is the mess. This is in the, the last center. remaining keep that we must hold on to for one more bloody assault by that English dog, King Edward. Now then, glad your wits are coming back. Hear that? The English are signalling their advance. We must make our stand. Select your lads, get them behind the walls and close the gates behind them. Then order bowmen to use fire arrows and light the fire pitch. Finally, you'll need to order men to the walls. Then get your trebuchets to unleash. I, I think that's we've covered that bit there. And what we got here is our your troops are out. Your are dying hey, there. Hey. I beg thee, get them inside the walls. Make haste, my lord. Use the left mouse button to select the units and drag and double click. What you need to do is just get them into here. Vougiers await your orders. Stand ready, men. Oh, in. Use the right mouse button to order selected units to move and attack. Double click to issue a run command. Just gonna get our the English in. dogs are in pursuit, my lord. Close the damn gate now. Yep, just cut the cinematic so I can actually do it. 
Um, that is one of the slightly frustrating elements of, of the game, is that the, when you actually do this, I'm uh, just going to toggle the gate shut, to stop some getting in. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit difficult to realise when the English cinematic has stopped. Skewers. Order the archers to switch to fire arrows and light up the oil pit. We're just going to select our archers and ready. the oil, flaming arrow Arrows there. Fire. And I think they, they just pick the targets automatically. Uh, but I think we can, stand ready. I don't think we can actually target we'll this. Oil orders. pitch is placed on with an oil cart and can be lit with fire. And select your bowman and right click to shoot. And take it. your arrows, men. Uh, bowman, stand ready. I think we can just. Enemy I think if you don't get them to target it, they will do it automatically. May I anyway. thee. Position everyone on the walls. <laughs> we await our orders. Bowman, stand ready. Uh, Archers are here. doing it. Oh, we shall decimate them. My lord needs bougiers. Yeah, it says put bougiers, bougiers up on the wall, but I'm not too sure why you want to put bougiers up on the wall. Bougiers await your. That means I suppose we can use them to repel. My lord needs bougiers. We make our So this is very here, much explaining you the movement. The English villains and how are coming. Do the basic defense. Fight them off. We are to make our escape. We we'll await our sure orders. What we need to do now. <laughs> Release your arrows, lads. Let us rain fire on them, my lord. Oh, it's Command the trebuchets. Command trebuchets to switch to flame stones. Got oh, one, two, three, four, five. One here. mighty machine here. Yeah. Flamestone. Light it up, lads! So, our trebuchets are going there. The trebuchets, like they were in medieval times, are not particularly that accurate, so <laughs> I think there's a good chance you may actually kill your own troops. So I'm actually going to pull them. Oops. They're almost upon us. We must hold on, Lordship, until we get a chance to flee Aberdeen. By the Saint's mercy, this city is doomed. Now, don't let the English get through to the inner keep. Once they capture the town hall flag, yep. our men's morale will be this shattered and we'll be done for. This is very much the principle of battle in medieval kingdom wars. It is a bit of a capture the flag type approach. And I think what we're going to do is... I'm uh, kind of inclined to... The enemy will use battering rams to attack the gates and towers and attempt to climb the walls with ladders. Concentrate your bowmen fire. Only fire arrows are effective here. So. That's what we need. Here. Stand ready, men. Where where are they? If we're to hold, oh. we must outfit more soldiers. Yep. By God's grace, we still hold a barracks, an archery range, and a siege workshop in the inner keep. Raise more troops, your lordship. Hurry! Yep. Come. And what we're going to do is just set a uh, rally point there. We're going to probably do a couple of these. A couple of uh, uh, these are crossbowmen. These are ordinary bowmen. And by right-clicking like this, you can set the gather flag. I think we'll get a couple of these. A couple of basemen. Uh, I'm not sure what we need in the way of artillery, but maybe we're put here. Uh, what we got battering rams, we don't need battering rams. Like a catapult could be quite fun. And you can just see the game wants to drift here. So uh Stand ready, I men. I think I'm gonna pull. Omen, stand ready. Uh, I think we Population limit. Bougiers are present. 
Select buildings and left click into the unit icon to start training. You can queue Cat multiple units in result. Oh, cool. I don't know how many ready. troops we can keep training. I might as well just keep pushing them out. I must admit, I like uh, the bowmen for actually recruiting troops there. We're still recruiting. Um, any train units up to the 30 limit. The limit's down here. I'm not sure how long. The enemy spits forth his iron indignation them. I think what we're going to do is pull our troops back, actually. I think we've lost this gateway here. The outer palisade walls will not hold for long. <laughs> Luckily, we have a stockpile of stone steady inside the, the city. So I urge thee to begin stone wall construction immediately. Yeah, this is a part of the tutorial that shows you about how to upgrade. And we come in here and sit there. Our gates are sorted. Hold the line with busy hammers. Close those rivets up. And I think we're just going to pull our troops back. Um, it's upgrading. Yeah, you can just see the upgrades here. There's many of the kingdom wars removes the player's micromanagement from the wall placement uh, to limit distraction in the middle of the battle. Select the wall control point and choose the upgrade icon to start the building stone walls. Wall construction consumes stone as well as required an upfront cost of iron. You, you can always pause or resume wall construction, but remember wall control panels can be captured at any time. But we're, we're just upgrading this area here. We'll just click out of that. And we're just going to take the map here. And I just want to get all these troops back for the moment. Uh, we await our orders. I think the Lord get some in the, still building up a little bit. It's getting there. My lord needs Rougiers. Gonna shut the gate. Keep these guys out. Eventually this wall will build up. I mean put my catapult here. We've got loads of capability here. I'm sure I had a catapult in here somewhere. I don't know if I can be cheeky and build it. Once more under the breach. Okay. So, we're having a little bit of fun here. Take the city. English will draw, raise more soldiers. So we still got to build more soldiers. Okay. I think we're making more bowmen. And we we'll change some bolt air. Thou bolt must air. gather more resources first. Okay, so I've got ahead of the resources, and you can see the timer here. So we've got to hold the siege for six minutes to win. Uh, I think we should be able My to. My lord needs bougiers. Uh, I need to do is find the archers. Await your order. I think we can get Winding the crossbow men up. Take his under attack. Hold steady. Or My lord close needs the gap with our body dead. Arrows, stand and ready. My lord, I am pleased to report our stone walls are complete. Yep. Now let us fortify them. We'll construct oil pots on the gatehouse, as well as ballistas and catapults on the bastions. Really need more archers, so we need to. To the click here. The enemy spits uh, his iron I think we'll build a blister here. <laughs> We're bombing our own tower there. That's building. Crossbows, get ready. Okay. And we'll just put some oil on there. Keen eyes, gleaming gears. Uh, looks like um, these it. guys are not. Defend the gates! Once more under the breach! This time has come to withdraw your men to the inner stone walls here. Yeah, well, I've already done that. <laughs> uh, wise to withdraw the next defensive position to keep your units alive. Ram 
standing by. Not sure why I'm building rams. Right, let's see if we can pump out some more archers. some oil. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Raise more soldiers. Yes. Under yes. I mean we've got 25. I, I think I really need more archers. I mean we're still building them. Archers really make the difference in a battle. Got basically, someone's firing archers. It's gonna fight this out. Uh, I mean, if anything goes wrong, all you've got to do is just press escape and you've got the option to return to game main menu or exit if you go back to the main menu or exit if you decide to go back to the main menu or exit game what actually happens is the game stores what part of the tutorial you reached so it doesn't actually save the game at this point in the tutorial what it means is you can go back and redo that part of the tutorial I'm just gonna do that. that's something to bear in mind guys Raise more soldiers, yes. Our yeah. gates assaulted. Hold the line with busy hammers. Close some... those rivets up. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get some. I think voltiers are pretty good. I'll do it, sire. Not enough resources. Yeah. I mean, is trouble brewing? These guys here. We've got two minutes to go. Something soon the English will withdraw. There's only so much an attacking army's morale can take during the main campaign. Your progress will be saved constantly, but for the purpose of this tutorial, your progress is only saved between missions. So stay strong and fight to the very end. There, and that just confirms what I was actually saying. I'll just click out of that, and we're on a quick countdown now. And what you can actually do once you're in the game is you can actually speed it up. But obviously, for the purposes of the tutorial. We, you, it won't actually do it. I think we're okay here. We're, we're pouring in loads and loads of fire. My only one gripe with the game, in this, it was, it's been around from the beginning, is that you can't zoom in as close as you would like. I mean, that's one downside. But we'll be okay. Look alert, boys! Right, in you go, boys. We gotta, we gotta hold out for a minute. But just get out. Stand ready, men. Just get Oh, we shall. Let's keep pushing them in now. But we should be able to win this. But then, if we don't, we don't. That's all there is to it. Um, get some more. Thou does not have sufficient resources. Bowman, stand ready. I mean, we're down to one minute. Release your arrows, lads. Ah. I'm not doing quite so well in this battle as I did in the in when I played it the first time, but we'll still be able to win. We've got 33 seconds to go. Crossbows, get ready. Release your boats. I mean, they still haven't quite. I mean, our guys are still holding them here. And it's a shame you can't zoom in really close, but never mind. Um, and we've obviously lost our. Um, oh, we've got a nice hit on the siege tower there. Wow, loads and loads of uh, missile fire coming in. Right, the timer's run out, so we should have 
won the battle. I'm not sure. Oh, there we are. At last, your lordship. The English are running for the protection of their siege camp. God save me. What a bloody slaughter. However, even though we've won this fight, I am afraid we've lost the battle. The English will regroup and return in greater numbers, like dung beetles. So that's the first introduction to battle in Medieval Kingdom Wars. It's, Sorry to rush you, it's a pretty but good we introduction. Escape and quick. It won't be more than an hour before the English mount another assault. If I may be so bold, take whoever can walk and let's board ships just off the coast to sail back home. Also, may I advise thee to leave quietly? Our Scottish allies might not take this lightly. That is part two of the tutorial and it gives a pretty good introduction to how the battle mechanics work and it, it does seem a bit chaotic and I have to admit I'm a little bit out of practice with fighting battles in this game and what I would recommend is that if you're completely new to the game you just bought it and you just want to play it I would probably suggest repeating that section at least twice. What we're going to do now is just move forward and to see as you wish we'll say a prayer for the brave sons of scotland whom we leave behind that god almighty show them mercy for that wretched scum yeah. i think we're just gonna skip through this and that is the uh, the end of part two in a cruel stroke for which history never forgives King Edward burned Aberdeen to the ground, putting innocent men and women to the sword, his conquest marked by blood and desolation every step of the way. Dismayed but not broken, the Scots avoided any more major engagements, and Edward was free to return to England. The King of France had to act. Philip's release from his crusader vows had not been made public, and he proceeded as planned, inviting all his nobles, great and minor, to raise men and send their forces to Marseille, where a fleet was being assembled that Philip declared would sail to the Holy Land. Meanwhile, many French adventurers, lucky to have survived their Scottish expedition, were sailing home, beaten and tired, targets of English and Irish privateers, and our hero, Count Guy de Chatelon, faced the task of crossing the channel to return to his estate town of Orléans. That was close. We barely made it, your lordship. Now that we are outside the city, the English won't dare to touch us, as there are no official hostilities between our king. So let us set sail for the French shore and make our way to Orléans. Oh yeah, this is... What awaits us back home? Word is, Orléans may be rebelling. Citizens are angry at the cost of your Scottish adventure. Ungrateful lot. But we'll deal with that once we get to Orléans. We'll have a long journey ahead of us. And before we set sail, may I suggest you heal your soldiers. We are near a friendly town and have some silver to spare. Let us get started then, your honor. We would need to inspect our soldiers, then heal our lads, and finally set sail for France. This is an introduction to the heal mechanic. And what you can see now is, now that we've got through that initial tutorial, we've now got the full screen. We've got our advisors down the bottom. This is the world map where you command armies, towns and hamlets. Later you can control entire kingdoms. Game events happen in real time. At the top of the world map you can see the current date, season and click any asset on the map to interact with it. If you cannot locate your army, click on the green X on the mini map, which is up here. And, and that's, so this is the campaign map. What I suggest is for the tutorial is you actually close that down here. And what we've got across the bottom is the four advisors. They're introduced later in the tutorial. The top left, you've got the amount of silver you've got. And I think this is the taxes. This is how much cash you're making. This is how much you're spending. Obviously, you're going to lose. If any of you are completely new to the game, this on the left-hand side is a chat window. 
so you can actually interact with the community in real time but i would recommend during the tutorial that you actually close that chat window simply because it will overlap and it will restrict your ability to see and it says here so we're going to follow the instructions and you can see here that all these troops are actually injured so after selecting your army clicked on any of the units on the left of the army window to heal them the soldiers you can heal one unit at a time all of them at once healing units cost silver which in the, in the is the main currency units will also heal slowly over time near friendly towns but this will take weeks of game time but now let's go ahead and instantly heal some or all of your units so we can just heal those there Carrick ready to and sit sail. i think probably the easiest way is uh, we can't heal them more I don't, no it's not going to do it so i mean we could probably the easiest way if i cancel that if i collect the taxes Lads are feeling much better now, oh. so let's away, my lord. Hey, game! I didn't I want to do that. that we travel as much as we can by <laughs> sea, as it will be much faster. Wait, I didn't mean to do that, game. Yeah, I think I should be able to do is click the taxes. Uh, it's not going to let Your me. Care and what we're going to do is click here, and we're going to heal everyone. We have got the cash Carrick for it. Ready to sit sail. So to move and select an army, right click between anywhere on the map, your army will automatically board and disembark as ships and crossing land and water at certain harbour locations. Okay. It does Lads time out like that. Much better now. So let's yep. away, my lord. I advise that we travel as much as we can by sea, as it will be yep. much faster. So, what we need to do is to your select the army. Standing ready. And as it says here, move. And if get the mini map back here so what we're trying to do is get from here to here it says here move your selected army right click anywhere on the map your army will automatically board and disembark ship crossing yep and well while at sea armies will move up to three times faster i didn't actually know that now locate all leans on the map and task your army to by clicking on the blue x so what we can do is literally tell the army to here You'll see the army will actually start to move. What you can ready to set sail. And what will happen is if you Zoom watch the army, the, midships, my the army will quite happily just come in. As soon as they enter the water, they will turn into a ship. Well, they should do. Yep, there they are. God's wounds, how I hate the sea. <laughs> and it will take us the better part of the month to get to Orleans. And remember, this is a real-time strategy game. So while this is happening, other things are happening on the map. Uh, bring your army to New Orleans. And it says here, a month on the map will take several minutes in real time. However, you can use the controls at the top middle of the screen to adjust the speed in game and pause the game. Try this now. So what we can do is just like that. Oh, we, um, I think we can go up to level three. While on the world map, your progress is saved constantly. So you do not need to save manually. This, however, creates its own challenge. There are no second chances and bo both your successes and mistakes are permanent. While in battle you can save your progress manually and resume later when you have left off. But remember that for the tutorial your progress is only, sa only saved between missions. Now, I think this is quite important with respect to this this game. And that is that you only really have one Sales save game. Sales my lord. Ships sighted. They're hunters flying Irish colours. Oh. Damn privateers. To arms, my lord! So we've got privateers coming in. This is the prelude to a sea battle, which I really appreciate the devs putting this in, because sea battles are rare in the game. And they're a bit odd, because they're not real sea battles. It says here, your fleet was just attacked by Irish privateers. Naval battles in the Middle Ages were messy affairs. Without all the man manoeuvring and ramming of the ancient ages and later days, naval actions reduced to boarding the opposing vessels. While you can usually either auto-resolve such a battle or fight it on the battle map, today we must fight it. Yeah, and you see I've got some nice set of troops here. And I think this is quite a neat part of the tutorial, actually. And as I mean, in all my campaigns, I've only ever fought one sea battle. The saga of naval warfare resounds through the ages, from the Greeks and Romans with their complex naval tactics, 
to the brilliance of ranged sea combat in the gunpowder age. Ramming, broadsides, Greek fire, oh, the poetry of battles at sea. Alas, none of that existed in the Middle Ages, and naval combat came down to several ships barely able to stay afloat, boarding with grappling hooks or suspended bridges, creating a floating archipelago on which the slaughter would commence. Without any naval maneuvering or tactics, these battles usually came down to which side had more men. And on that fateful day in 1336, Count Guy de Chatelon found that he faced overwhelming odds against Irish privateers, superior in manpower, arms, and armor. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy... My lord, don't look at me like that. In truth, I'd advise your honor to pray as well. We're totally buggered now. Your lordship, the saints may yet intercede. For I have heard a voice from on high, reminding me all <laughs> I know of the art of war, and so shall advise thee. Follow my advice to the letter, and by our blessed mother, we just might survive. Besides, the lads are terrified. They will not obey unless you follow my advice. God's nails, here come the Irish. Look at their bloody armor. Make ready to fight and heed my every word. Now, even if you don't want to fight sea battles, I certainly recommend doing this part of the tutorial, simply because this, this section includes a little bit about using formations. So it's certainly worth you doing it. Irish heavy armor foot knights are scouting our position. These Buckmore cannot be stopped by arrow or sword, but a good swat from a mace will do. Hurry, task our macemen to attack them. If they lay hold of our flag, the rest of our men will lose faith in you and surrender. <laughs> Await in your own. to get these guys over here. And this is very much part of the rock, paper, scissors approach to combat in this game. Macemen destroy armoured knights, bowmen destroy macemen, and this is something you need to be aware of. It says heavy foot knights are advancing on position, fast attack, double click the macemen and run to run. Okay. Need to Maces, move out! Get them to run. Yeah, I didn't know there's that. Five packs to move out the unit, see what type of damage the unit can do. So arm. Um, Take that round a bit so we get a bit of a better view. Is trouble brewing? We'll just get in here. Watch a little bit of the combat. Now I've I've never been too sure about the friendly fire mechanic in this game because if you watch here, we've got our own archers pouring in very ineffective fire on on this area here. We are attacked. The trumpet sounds to horse away my souls and arms and so eager our for the prey. are getting stuck in here. Right, let's just see if we can get around here a little bit so we can see a bit of the combat. You can see our basemen are making pretty short shift of the, the these knights. Probably because we've got two units here. And we've got them! Now the Irish are moving their bowmen forward. Our macemen will fall like rabbits. Pull them back and order your armored bougiers forward to slaughter their archers. And better use a loose formation. So, so what we first thing we need Look to do is boys. withdraw. Get to it, boys. Let's withdraw these guys back. And oh, is this the safety here? I suppose we can move them back here. Crossbows, get ready. Where's my crossbows? Where's my vultures? Oh, here they are. My lord needs vultures. And the formation button is down here. It says type uh, loose formation. Is it? My lord, like leaving sword must have in vultures. Await your orders. In, let's go and kill the bowmen. They're obligingly coming at us. They're actually attacking here. Uh, not sure we need to move the maceman back too far. Oh, 
Kane are. Um, Vouges are, well, Vouges are effectively pike infantry. So armoured pike infantry destroys missile troops and cav. Try havoc, sir. It's battle oh, they're, actually, unbidden. they're coming this way. Kick the flag. So we're creaming these guys quite well. Stand ready, men. Right. Move as commanded. What I want to do is men. move these guys over here because I don't want them. My lord needs Vougiers. Right, let's get these guys over Move this way. as commanded, men. We've defeated the bowmen, haven't we? Here comes their main force, several hundred strong. Our only chance is to blockade the bridge to our ship with Vougiers, while our ranged troops soften them up. Vougiers would need to stand ground in a tight formation. God's grace be with them! Our Vougiers are here. My lord needs Vougiers. So we're going to move them there. And what we need them in is in tight formation. As you were trained, men. My lord needs Vougiers. My inclination is to... Vougiers will obey. Vougiers await your orders. Put these guys up on the bridge. Vougiers await your orders. We'll have a little bit of a battle bridge. His range units will die quickly in May. Like, to win the upcoming engagement position with Voltiers on the end of the, end of the bridge, leading at the end of the bridge. Okay. Stand ready, men. Set them to stand ground. Uh, my information is formation. I don't know what that. My troops are being attacked. Hot coals of vengeance now upon them. Stand ground. There we are. Hey. Now it's time to bury them in rocks and arrows. Luckily, okay. we have some stone for our catapults. You also need to bring your crossbowmen closer for the full devastation of their volley fire ability. Hey. See. So, uh, disable. Ready, catapult. That should release the catapults. Uh, the enemy has attacked. Marry, they will up. not die well in this. Obviously, I've got some heroic uh, Vougiers here, order. actually defending here. But that's okay. I'm um, just going to get our crossbowmen in. Uh, I think we're having an effect here. Let's get our. Steady arms standing by. Got three sets of crossbow. Rank those bows, men. And five here. Flamed arrows, formations, arrow, arrow volley. There we are. The enemy has attacked. Right, the enemy's Mary, coming through they will now. Not so. Not die well in this. Uh, Release your boats. Release your boats. Um, just move the maceman back in a little bit. Put that there. I can actually see what I'm doing. One of the downsides is that in things can get a little it's bit crowded here. Brewing. Maces, move out. Bowman, stand ready. Uh, we've got our bowmen pouring in. Got loads and loads of troops coming through here, but we'll, but we'll be okay. We've got our tight formation now, and we've effectively got a kill zone going here. My tier units can use volley fire at a great distance in several, what, in several volleys, however it consumes some of their stamina can only be used for a limited time. But once in range, choose to locate and use volley fire here. Crossbows, get ready. I think normal fire should be okay because these guys are doing really, really well. You can see all the blood and gore here. Mm. 
my souls in arms and eager for I mean, it's a relatively simple battle, but it's a very good battle to actually mount. And of course, we're going to need to capture their flag once we've protected the flag. Um, I think we can now look alert, boys. Bring these guys forward. We held firm, my lord. Let's pursue and attack their ships. We would need to capture their flag to force a surrender. Their ship is protected by bowmen and heavy knight infantry. But now you know how to deal with them. Yeah, what we need is our awaiting your orders. Uh, Move those iron bring these guys forward. Well, Bougiers will Bougiers. So when advancing enemy archers, set your units to loose formation and make the Volant Voutiers lead the way to draw the enemy fire. Once they've overcome the enemy archers, bring forward. So, I mean, I don't have that much in the way of uh, Voutiers. No, let's put them into. As you were trained, men. Oh, Thy we soldiers shall are under decimate. attack, my lord. Thy gleaming sword must out upon them. Uh, this formation. As you were trained, men. And what we need to do is put, start we moving the... Orders. Is trouble brewing? And put the basement up boys. behind. Wait. Bougier will deliver death. Stand ready, men. Bring the archers and our troops forward. We've got here. We've got more archers there. My troops are being Lock attacked. Hot calls of vengeance now upon them. Okay. Lord, we move. Bowman, I think you can just get Bowman. into there. Move it. Really need my basement. Where are they? Look alert, boys. I think just get the basement in. Crossbows, get ready. Awaiting your orders. Swing them, boys! Let's get the basement in. Our archers are coming. Of course, we can bring the artillery the forward. That will help as well. Uh, Thy troops are attacked, your grace. A war. The bowmen. Awaiting your orders. These are our amazement, so it's time to get these in. This is how you can select. It doesn't actually tell you in the tutorial, but you can select individual units up here. So we've got our archman and crossbowman coming in really, really hard. Swing them, boys! Oh. In you go, boys. The enemy has attacked. Uh, Marry, they will not die oh, well in this. Look alert, so I've lost all my voltiers, but it should be okay. I mean, macemen can take out archers if they get in close proximity. And it's just that it takes a little bit longer. Uh, these guys are done. You can see the the flag is now being captured, and I think we've wiped them out. And there's nothing else left on the map that we can just station our can bring up a few crossbowmen. Winding up, taking action. And what will happen is this counts down, and then we've won the battle. As I say, battles in medieval kingdom wars are very much about capture the flag. Capture the flags, you've won the battle. And if you're defending, there's often a timer, so then all you need to do is defend in a siege for the timer, and that's it. Praise to the angels on high! My lord, against all odds we triumph! It's victories like this that make me choose to fight a battle against all odds instead of auto-resolving. Auto-resolving is for peasants and laggards, right? Remember this lesson, my lead. Tactics can greatly shift the odds in your favor. Indeed, there'll be more on this later. Now we have to loot the dead and be on our way. 
We snagged a lot of trade goods, too, so our losses weren't for nothing. Holy relics, books. Looks like these sinful pirates raided a holy place. Bastards. But we'll need just these types of trade goods if we're to dissuade the population of Orléans from rebellion and other foolish notions. Now accept the trade goods we salvaged and let's continue to the world map. Trade goods are the result of all battles and it's cer so it's cer certainly worth fighting battles. However, before we move on, a quick talk about the auto resolve. Uh, I think every strategy game I've played, I'm not going to mention them, the auto resolve is always rubbish and to be honest, I'm, I'm a great, I have great prejudice against the auto resolve, not just in Medieval Kingdom Wars but all all the games I, I play where there is an auto resolve. I, I just don't like it anyway. So what we're going to do is just move on and we're going to get the loot. And this is the load screen, the Lord of Boyers. Yeah, so this is where I'm going to call the video for this, this part because the next part is a completely new chapter. It goes into managing the, let me just get rid of that. Okay, here we are, we're back to the main menu and just to wind this video up, what I will do is just go into the tutorial and I'm just going to run through these parts to give you an idea of where we've reached so far. Obviously, that this is the cinematic introduction. There's no actual gameplay in it. So if you want to redo something, you, you can just skip this. This is the siege battle that we fought, which is probably worth doing a second time if you're a new player. And that will literally take you in that stage. Across the channel is very much about movement and healing the army. And part four, which is the part we just finished, which is that naval battle and again it, I mean I've, I've now played this naval battle three times and I think it's really worth repeating that step in the tutorial because naval battles are very rare in medieval kingdom wars they can be quite tricky to initiate except for when you actually don't want one when you get ambushed by some navy you didn't see in the next video we will pick up on part five where the tutorial moves very much into being on the campaign map about building up settlements and various other parts and as you can see here the remaining parts are all greyed out so i've not played those so i've got no idea what what we will find in there in fact what i will probably do is just play those tutorials with you in the video so this is where i leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming